This is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to be making some really fun spring embellishments. And we're going to use this shape that I got from a tissue box. Yep, this is the cover from a tissue box. So let's get started. I always like to find shapes in everyday things, and so this was perfect. So I took some of my packaging, um, I had like the little pudding um, snacks and some other packaging that I got from like Dollar Tree, um, used that, and also got some uh, Jello snacks uh, and cut all of that packaging up. But you can use your cereal boxes also, um, great way to recycle. And so I've got these and I'm gonna use these for cards. So that's what I'm thinking with this. Okay, I also went ahead and colored and cut out some of the um, images from my stamp set. And this is the, this particular, these particular images come from the Mindless Crafting stamp set called Spring Blossom. And so I thought it would be fun to stamp out a bunch of them and then color them in. So I've got a little bit of everything on here because I really want this to kind of be mindless crafting. I also went ahead and cut out some sentiments, BU. So I may end up putting those on my embellishments as well. Shine Bright. The BU is actually from my other stamp set the Love You stamp set. So I thought this would be fun to put together. So it's not really thinking about a whole bunch of things. It's not really matching every single color. Um, I got some gems that I'm gonna add to it as well. I did also use stickles on these. That's why they have a shine. I'm not sure if you can really see these, but these have a really nice shine. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is start covering these. And I'm covering them on one side and the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to use this on a card, so you really don't need to cover the other side. And I will show you how I turn these into a card in another uh, video. And so I've got all these really pretty papers that would be great for spring. So I've got one of my paper packs, um, I think it's called Baby Girl, um, but I'll put it below. And I thought these were perfect colors for spring and to use them to cover so I'm gonna show you real quick how I cover one for those of you that might be tuning in for the first time. And then I'll move forward and cover the rest off camera. So let's go ahead and take one of these real quick. This really pretty blush pink. All I do with this, nothing fancy. Just I'm using my art glitter glue, just for those of you that are wondering. But if you don't have that, just use whatever you have in your stash. Okay, just place it there. And then go ahead and cut it out. And many of you have seen me do this for tags. Um, if you're not, if, even if you have a tag that has color to it already and you don't like it, cover it up with some of your paper. So you just want to make sure the edges are covered too, right to the edge where you really glue it way down to the edge without having glue spilling out the so over the sides. So now you've already got your base for your embellishment. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the others and then we're gonna go ahead and decorate it. Okay, so look how adorable those look, all covered up, no one would know. And so now we're gonna to try to um, add some grass on here. We're not gonna try, we're gonna do this. So I have the grass from my uh, Spring Blossom stamp set this little tiny bit of grass. So I'm going to do some repeat stamping on this just along the bottom to make it spring-like, right? 
before I add my embellishment. So I'm just going to kind of do this right here. Look how adorable that looks already. Just adding in some grass. It's really going to look cute with that flower and the birdhouse. So you're just really kind of building your own scene. So there's really no wrong way to do that. Look how cute that looks already. Just adding it. And I am using some Distress Ink called Mowed Lawn. And it's the Tim Holtz. So this is what it looks like. But I will list everything below. Let's go ahead and put some on this, even though this already has a pattern. I am going to add some grass. And it's okay if it doesn't show up all the way, but I still see it pretty good. Such a fun stamp set. So much you can do with it. Um, these I think I'll just go ahead and leave though. Actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and stamp it. <laughs> I see a little bit of grass peeking out there too. Great way to change the look. And so this doesn't show up as much on the pattern pieces, but guess what? It's okay. This one I'm going to leave alone because it's got a lot going on in there already. But this is a relaxed craft. You're just kind of doing your own thing and making it happen. So now that we got our grass on there, we can start adding in some other things. So I'm going to go ahead and start to put our flower in here. And so I think this one will look really cute. So let's go ahead and add our flowers in here. Just to kind of find out where you want to put your flower, I'm going to take this one and put it on over here. Let's push it over a little bit more. And you notice that flower is from this stamp set as well. Look at that. I just added dimension to it. And look how cute that is. Let's get the pink one. And I kind of double layered this one to give it just a little bit more. I'm going to just put that one right on there. See, I'm not really thinking about it. I just want to do it. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to put it right here. Let's see if we can put this somewhere else other than having it. <laughs> Let's put it right here on this side. You're just having fun with this. Let's see. Another one. I could do that one or I can do this right here. It's just up to you. I'm going to put this one here. Let's add some blue to it. It has no blue in it, but I'm going to add blue to it because I can, right? So remember, this is your creation, so make up your own rules. Just have fun with it. Okay, so now that I have that on there, let's go ahead and make our sentiment so we can make sure our sentiment is going to fit on there. So I've got Shine Bright. I'm just randomly picking these out. I like to stamp a lot of sentiment so I can just kind of go back and grab something up and just put it on my, my card or my tag, or whichever. Okay, so let's see. This is going to need a background so it can really stand out. So I'm going to just pop it on here. So I like to stamp up my little scraps. If I have scraps that are just like lying around, go ahead and stamp those up and add them to something. I'm going to need a couple of these. So. Just kind of getting this, let's just add something to the edge of that one, right? Let's 
And this card can be for any occasion if you just want to brighten up someone's day. Shine bright, right? Let's see what else we got here. Let's see, I need, I'm going to use BU. Let's do that one. Maybe have it look like an arrow, right? Look at that. Great craft to do if you're starting out with paper crafting or if you've been doing it for a while and you just want to do something fun where you don't have to really think about every single step. And a great way to get those stamp sets out and use them. So if you need a quick card, make a bunch of these and then just grab it up when you need it and you're good to go. Let's be you. Let's see. Let's do another. See, I, I stamped out a bunch of these, so we need five of them. Let's do another BU. So we'll need a little bit of a border, right? Well, it won't fit on there, so let's get another one. Making sure I'm in the camera frame because I could get really going on this and forget that I've got the camera turned on, which means I'm pretty relaxed. <laughs> All right, so whatever sentiments you have, uh, whatever stamp set you have, just start stamping it out and putting something together. You could use this technique for any stamp set. Okay, so we got one, two, we, got, we need one more. Probably do another shine bright. You see, I'm just cutting away. Not really thinking about it, right? Sure, I have enough here. These will make great uh, gift tags, birthday cards, just change the sentiment out. So sometimes you want to start small and then build from there. So we're going to go from em embellishment to cards. And so I will record that um, in another video for you. If you'd like to see how I would turn these into cards. I know many of you said you love to see when I do that type of crafting. So I will do it. And for those of you that have already bought the stamp set, now you can follow along and create something fun. Okay, so now we've got our sentiments here, and let's start with the first one. I want Shine Bright to go maybe right there. I'm going to put a bird on there too, could go right there too, and I'm going to use the birdhouse too from the snap set. I've been really wanting to use this, and I know many of you have been waiting for me to use it. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of dimension on here. Dimension is always fun. And 
This one is a lot thinner, so I'll use my thin dimensions here. Okay. And so I'm super excited to see how these are going to turn out because I'm not really thinking how I want these to turn out. I have an idea, but I don't want the thinking to get in my way, <laughs> if that makes sense. Because we can get in our way and really start thinking about everything. That's why I like to do these kind of videos, because it just shows you that um, you can create whatever you want. So I'm going to put shine bright there. Add my other. I'll add one. I'll do one more, and then I'll we'll go ahead and add the other stuff, the other sentiments off camera, because I don't think y'all want to see me adding every single one of these. But I'll do two for you. And I do put glue on there. I I just feel like it. I it needs that extra whatever. But these are really very strong. This mounting tape, really strong stuff. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and put this one on. Great message, be you, right? So I'm going to put this, let's see, I'm going to put it like right here maybe. Let's see what this one looks like. I can put it right here. It would be cute too. I'm going to put it kind of off kilter right there. Yep. I did it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add the sentiments to the other ones and then we're going to go ahead and put on our birdhouse. Okay, so all of our sentiments are on and so now we're going to go ahead and you see how this is coming together now we're going to go ahead and add the birdhouse in look how adorable that is and i'm actually going to cut this teeny weeny birdhouse i'm going to cut it i'm going to take this and i'm going to cut that little part off right there i'm still going to use this little tiny piece So watch what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to just put this right here. Just put it right there in the grass, right? I had fun coloring in this. And then I'm going to take, you know, see what I'm going to do. I'm going to add dimension to it. Let's cut this smaller. I really want that to fit. Okay, so I'm going to take this and add some dimension to it. And you can get very detailed with these. The amount of detail you can add on these is, is incredible. And look at that. So just that little bit of dimension. Could you imagine what this is going to look like on a card? And now I'm going to take my bird. Let's see. I think I'm going to use this one with the pink on it. Add it in there. I could have them coming off there. I could put them on the top. I'm going to just have him right here. And so I could put dimension on him too if I wanted to. I'll probably do that on one of the others. And I'm going to add this flower in. So this one will have two flowers on it. And now I could add some gems. I happen to have some gold gems on here too. So let's see. I'm 
was trying to pick them up, but they seem to be sticking to my table here. Okay. Oh. Can you see that? Got a little bit of glue in there. So what I usually do if I get too much glue, kind of wipe that off. And let's see if we can get one of these other ones to come over here and be right. No? <laughs> yep, upside down. And I'm not really worried when it does that because I know that art glitter glue dries clear. So even if you make a mistake or a happy accident, it's still all good. So look how cute that looks. Look how adorable. And I'm going to add something else to that. I'm just going to put it aside for a moment and work on the other ones. So I need my white gel pen for this. So I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to put some little dots on here. Make it look fun. Just adding some dots here. So it's like you're having your own little canvas. And so I'm going to put some pink. I've got this really slender gel pen. Just tie in some pink on this sentiment here. Make it look fun and it's bright and spring-like. Because that's the main thing you want, is to have fun. And if I want, I can actually color in that heart, right? So many things you can do. Maybe the E on there too, yeah. Okay, so let's get another birdhouse here. And let's see what we want here. So, it's a really cute birdhouse. Let's see. See which one stands out. That one will really stand out. That pink one. That one is going to go on there. Yes. And let's see. Got this other one here too. See, I'm not really thinking about this. I'm just doing it, right? That looks cute too. Hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and go for it. Ooh, that one looks cute. Look at the bird. Adorable. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this on here. I am not trying to match up all these colors. Okay, so let's go ahead and Cut that away. That right there. Put some dimension on this. I'm so hands-on that I forget to use my tools sometimes. I don't know if anyone else is like that, too. Because <laughs> what did we do with it when we didn't have the tools, right? Adorable. Get my bird in here. I'm going to put a tiny little dimensional on here. Just a tiny one. Put him right here, can I? Right above my birdhouse. Look how cute that looks. And let's see, let's go ahead and put some gems on this. And another one is done. Let's see, I got three different gems here. I'm just going to sneak these over here. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. And let's get this one in there too. Right there. Got my bird on there and everything, and that's number two done. Okay, let's get this one done. I think I'm going to put that one right there. Got my bird. I'm going to put my bird right there. So y'all are really seeing this come together in real time. I'm just leaving all the steps in there. I'm not trying to be matching everything up. Sometimes it's just fun to kind of think outside the box. I'm going to put that one over there. Get my birdhouse. And it's so much more unique when you don't match everything. Everyone expects everything to be lined up and matched well. I'm just, I just like the whole mindless crafting thing. I have a small tweezer around here. You think I would use that, but no. <laughs> okay, and right here. Pop that one up. Okay, get that on there. So you can have a whole tray with a bunch of these that you already colored in, cut out, and you can just start putting everything together and just have fun with it. So fun. You notice I'm putting a bird in just so many different places on here. And I still have some leaves I need to um, add in there too. So the stamp set has a leaf in there also. Maybe right there. Yep. Okay. And so let's go ahead and cut this off. Put some more dimension on there again. These will look cute in gift tags. So you can take this same idea and make some gift tags. If you want to use a round shape, use a round shape. Same idea. Just add in your stuff. I think I'll, you know what, I'm going to put it right here. Yep. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish off this last one here with the birdhouse on it. And it needs a bird. So once you have everything all colored in and stuff, this can really come together pretty quick. So this is not something you have to finish like in one day. You can just do it in parts. Color in your pick out your um, stamp set that you're going to work with. Color in your sentiments. Look how fun that looks. This is why I don't like to match everything, is because it just really takes away from the uniqueness. So I'm going to use this. So rather than think about, oh, that shade of blue doesn't go with that shade of blue, just 
go ahead and use whatever you have. Okay, let's see. Let's see, I'm putting my little pink heart in there. That grass really looks good. I wish y'all could really see that. It really looks good. Okay, now I need to add my bird. I'm gonna put a dimension on this bird. Put him right here. And he's got some sparkly stuff. I did put some uh, stickles on the bird too. Birds and the flowers. But I'm going to put a little bit more on the house also. On the little bird house. Okay, so let's see what we need here. What's missing on these others. Basically need to add some gems in here. It's nice to have a little bit of sparkle on your stuff here. Super cute. And let's do this one. And um, I made these flowers during a live video, so I will go ahead and post that, how to get that dimension on those flowers. It's a lot easier than you think. Now, if you want to use some uh, sequins, you can use those on here too. It's just up to you. And I almost forgot I have some leaves and I'm not getting like really close to the edge on this. It's kind of like that. And my fussy cut scissors have some sticky stuff on it, so I've got to clean that off. Can't have my fussy cut scissors have glue on them, so I need to make sure I clean that off. So these are going to be cute. Once I add the flowers in, that'll just be like that little last thing that we need to add in. I've got glue all over my fingers. My type of crafting. Wouldn't be crafting if I didn't have glue and ink on my fingers, right? Let's see. Maybe one more on there. One more leaf. Wasn't sure how the green leaf would look with the green flower, but... You know what, you can color your leaf in any way you want. So we're gonna tuck these leaves in here. Let's see. I'm gonna tuck that one right in there. So I'm just going to tuck right in there. See, a little leaf just adds to it. How adorable is that?
really adds to it. Cute. Super cute. You see how these come together? Once you get on a roll here, you just kind of start putting them together. And I'm going to use one more leaf. And you notice I just stamped them out on any little scraps I had. I don't know if anyone else does that. <laughs> Leave me a comment if you do the same thing. Because I just, I don't know, just little bits of paper. I have a hard time throwing them away, y'all. Let's see, this one can do two leaves on it, right? Just gonna tuck it right in there. Goodness, look how cute that is. Look at that, y'all. So now, I can take these and add some stickles. Uh, let me just add a little bit more of something on here. Okay. And there's some blue right there. Let's see, I think I have a really light, light blue marker. Just maybe add a little bit of blue along here. And I'm just not doing anything fancy, just adding a tiny bit of blue on the outside here, very lightly. Get this one right here. I'm going to add. I could use a little bit of blue on there too, can I? Yep. That blue and um, green look really good together with the pink, right? Okay, so this is what I got. Now for the stickles. I want stickles on my house. And you can do this before you even cut them out. Just add your stickles on if you know. Let's put some right in there too. I gotta be careful to let this dry. So I'll start moving stuff around. Oh, you know what? You can put some on the leaves too. And I did finally get around to ordering me some stickles, so I can't wait till it gets here. Because I've been putting stickles on everything. Okay, so let's move this one over. Let's move this one over here. And you know what? I'm going to stickle my sign. And I'm just pressing and dragging. Like that. Okay, let's get this house up in here. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, what about the heart? Let me do the heart. I think that will look cute. Yeah, I'm trying to show y'all as much of this process as possible so that y'all can come away with some great ideas. 
And I want you all to feel like, yeah, you know what? I could do that. It's a pro fun project. Even if you want to start without having the card already in mind, just start with the start with the embellishment first. If you have circles around the house, trace out your circles. Or if you have something that is a circle, use that, cover it, trace it out onto some packaging. This is adorable. So I will definitely be showing you in another video, a part two, of how to take these and turn them into cards. So let's see. Got that. That one's done. I think I got all of these. Yeah, that was fun. Okay. So everything is all stickled. Let me show you the first one that I did. Look how adorable that is. That's another one that I did um, just for my little practice run through. And I said, oh my goodness, this is so cute. I have to have to share this with you. And I think this one, because it's so light, I'm just going to do stitching just around here. <laughs> oh boy, me and the stitching. Just around that corner there. Let's see what I want to do. Something a little bit darker on that. And I hear my my doggy over there. I know it's still drying, so I don't want to handle it as much. Look how adorable that looks. So I'm going to, I will take pictures to post at the end of this video so that you can see it. Look how absolutely adorable those are. So I will go ahead and put the link to where you can get this stamp set. Um, this is the Spring Blossom stamp set. And the Love You stamp set. I will put the link to both of those. It's on our mindlesscrafting.com website. And I hope you are inspired by these creations. Start out with embellishments first and then turn them into cards. So stay tuned for that second video on how to use your embellishments and turn them into cards. We'll be doing that in part two. See you real soon. Bye.